It was the pump house, and it pumped the water out of the river, and it was all intact at that time, and they were at the far end of it before you get to the river, it was about 15 feet from the river, were three enormous tanks of sand. And they would be about, I guess, 10 feet in, in, what is that called, not diameter, the depth of it. And, I mean, they were absolutely immense tanks full of sand. There were three of them. And the principle was that the water was pumped into the first tank, and it trickled down, and then it went into the second tank and trickled down. By the time it had filtered through the third tank, it was deemed to be pure. And that was the supply of water to Niagara on the lake. <laughs> and it had been pumping water, and the man who ran it was at the far end of the pump house. And there, was a, there were two rooms, it was like a kitchen, a dining room, and a living room, and three bedrooms upstairs and a bathroom. And he couldn't have a holiday because the pumps had to go 24 hours a day, seven days a week, and if anything went wrong, that would affect the, the water for the town. And at that time, there was this awful scandal about Love Canal in the U.S. and about all the chemicals that were spilling into the river. They had something like eight chemical plants there. And there were too many heavy metals like mercury and lead and things that could not be filtered through these, <laughs> these beautiful tanks. And so they had to close it. So by the time we got here in 1980, um, I guess they figured that uh, you know, they, they did, it was closed and nobody was using it. And so we peered in the windows and so called the mayor and said, is it for rent? Is the building for rent? And he said, uh, well, nobody's asked us that before, but I suppose it could be the residential part. And so we signed a lease. And so she and I went to discuss it with the mayor. And we, en we ended up with a rate of $80 a month and they would heat it. We had a bathroom, and we had water and light. So we thought, we'll have to choose studios. <laughs> Nancy and I went upstairs to choose a studio, and there was a third room there, and we said, we'll have to get somebody else. You know, just, and so um, I had met Mui Lackner down the road because she was, a, she was a niece or a cousin of friends of ours called Greer in Montreal who had told us her name, and uh, they lived in Toronto. And so we met, and then they moved down to Niagara partly, but not totally because Jack, her husband, used to still work in Toronto, but Mui was down here. And I asked her if she'd like to come in, because she, she worked in papier-mâché, and she made plates and, and bracelets and stuff, and I asked her if she would come and join us. Well, she was thrilled to bits. And so we used to phone each other. She'd say, you're going down to the pump? Well, before all this happened, before it ever became an art center, um, this was a wonderful, glorious idea, and so we simply rented it. And so when we were, we were down there renting our various studios, then we thought, you know, this is just too good to be true. And then, um, tragically, Mui died, so we got a third person, and uh, that was Barbara Alawalia. And she was marvelous. She used to make baskets, gorgeous baskets. And then she sort of got fed up. And then we had another gal whose name I don't remember. And then uh, we became noticed that here was this building and we were doing pretty well. And we thought, you know, it's a shame that, that uh, it's only us. And we thought, wouldn't this make a marvelous little school, a little art center to have shows and whatnot and have lectures and people bring kids here like we had at the art gallery, which were wonderful. I mean, they'd all come and you'd give them a special something to do. And so we thought, so we approached various people. And for the most part, there was a great deal of support for the idea because this was for us. This was not tourists. This was for us in town to have our very own little art center because there was nothing at that time, uh, except maybe in Toronto or maybe in Niagara Falls there would be something, or St. Catharines had, had an art gallery, of course, but not for us here in town.